my name is Mamiko. I live in Tokyo, Japan, and this is my food face. My name is Munibur Rahman. I live in Karachi, Pakistan, and this is my food face. Hi, my name is Toto Karandang. I'm from Dagupan, Philippines. This is my food face. This is Ishika Sunny. I'm from India, and this is my food face. My name is Hikaru here, or you can call me Lu. I live in Tokyo, Japan, and this is my food face. Welcome, everybody! Welcome to Food Face Festival opening event. We have started and then uh, we are going to have this festival until July the 15th. So we have two weeks and during that two weeks, we would invite you and encourage you to take photos or shoot a videos of food, which you can create a face like, or even you can make a full face. Hey, yummy yummy and you can make every day happy and playful so this is all about food face festival <laughs> so the um the reason why we started a food face festival is that we have started a global play brigade one asia well before that i was kind of appointed to be a global play brigade Japan leader, co-leader. We have two leaders or three leaders or then I thought I have a dream. I kind of remembered I have a dream to create a better ugly to make up the world a better place by yes and with yes and with the mindset of yes and that's what I started 20 years ago. And I thought, okay, this is a good opportunity for me to collaborate and play with the people who have the same kind of mind around Asia, around world. And I bumped into Global Play Brigade and I bumped into Barbara and she has been posting wonderful beautiful 300 or more holiday and do you know what holiday is uh oh yes barbara is here so uh we can ask barbara what is holiday thank you so much this is Barbara Ann Michaels. I am in New York City. It is my tremendous honor and joy to be collaborating with Global Play Brigade Asia, One Asia. And the Holiday Project, I came to realize that people use holidays to be brave and to take emotional steps. Like in the United States on January 1st, people go out and join the gym and they're going to work out and they're going to be healthy. But somehow on December 31st, no one can find a gym to join. Or even if in, in the U.S. if it's Mother's Day or Father's Day and someone has some tension with their parent, they're going to call them anyway. They're going to make a, an emotional stretch and say, you know, this is a holiday. I can do it. So I thought, let's just make every day a holiday. So I've created up to, I'm creating 365 holidays. I've, I'm, I'm well on my way there. And some of them are like, I love you first day where you're going to say I love you first to someone in your life who you haven't said I love you to or you turn day where you're going to turn away from doing something that you don't like or food face day and food face day was about uh, playing with our food and making faces out of our food to enjoy eating in a new way. And so this collaboration with Global Play Brigade One Asia is about taking the food face day and making an entire festival out of it for two weeks so we can get to know each other's cuisines while having fun, uh, while playing, which is the mission of the Global Play Brigade. And so it's my great honor to be here. I'm so delighted about the festival and, and let's go. 
yes let's go yes you know what i think when you were a child you had said your mom or dad said to you that don't play with food but during these two weeks you can play with food and you can play with us so let's play so let me introduce the members of one asia so this beautiful graphic has been made by Momiko from uh, Global Play Brigade Japan as well. And my um, my beautiful best co colleague of Applied Improvisation Facilitator Academia. So Momiko, can you introduce yourself and send the pass, um, ball to somebody else? Okay, sure. Thank you so much for a wonderful introduction and also wonderful speech by Barbara. I'm so delighted to be here with all of you here and also all of you watching the Facebook live stream. Thank you so much for your time to come here and join us. And my name is Mamiko Miyamoto. I live in Tokyo, Japan, and I am a um, I am a facilitator in lots of different um, classes, including English language instruction and also um, some like um, coaching and uh, presentation skills. And, and so I do a lot of uh, lessons and also I work in a translation industry and also I work as a project management. So this is really good opportunity for me to um, utilize all the skills that I use for work. And also I just wanted to use these things for something fun and also something meaningful to the society. So I'm really glad to be here with everybody who is wonderful, playful, beautiful, like everything, ev like all, all the good people in the world. I'm so happy to be here with them. Okay, so I would like to pass the ball to one of the beautiful people here, um, Pooja, there we go. Thank you, Mamiko. So hello, beautiful people. This is Pooja Sippi. I'm from India, a place called Gujarat. I'm so happy to get this opportunity to play with food and not actually play with food, but also just being very creatively, um, beautifully showing up for food. And I'm glad to be here and glad to meet all of you. And I'll pass the ball to my beautiful friend, Mario. Whoosh. Is that me? Marianne. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marianne Rich. I'm uh, I'm not in Asia. I'm in New York City, and I'm here with Jeff Aaron as a representative from the Global Play Brigade headquarters. <laughs> to um, witness the launch of One Asia Global Play Brigade's Food Face Festival. So this is my food face when I'm eating food I love. Mm, yum, 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 yum. And I'm going to call on Madavi. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Medhavi Parmar and I am from India as well. I come from Delhi and I'm so happy to be a part of Global Play Brigade One Asia and Global Play Brigade. Uh, so excited to be. Food is so much a part of who we are and what we do in India. Uh, everywhere you go, everything you do has got to do with food. If there's no food, it's boring. <laughs> So, uh, so really excited to be a part of this uh, two week extravaganza and hope we'll hear from all of you as we go along. I would like to pass the ball to Manishita. Hello everybody. Very nice to see many known faces. Okay. Yeah, I am very glad to be associated with Global Play Brigade. It's been a one year now, I think. We have been doing lots of programs. And uh, I am associated with Turning Point, uh, which uh, Ishita Shanya leads. And I'm one of the um, parent uh, of the beneficiary. Uh, and talking about this Global Play Brigade, it is so much fun, so much creative, uh, improvising. And with the food, you can have a 
um, this thing without eating a food and enjoy the food. I don't know how we'll do today. I think we'll do very nicely, you know. Now, this is a unique uh, um, concept or imagination, you know. We all go through imagination. So without seeing the food on your table, we are, we are reaching to each other's table through Zoom link or through uh, digitally. That is very nice and I'm very excited here also. Thank you so much. And I pass it to Jeff hasn't spoken. Uh, Thank you, Manashita. Yes, sir. Okay. So proud to be with you. And um, I think all I'm going to do is share my food face. Yay! And, <laughs> <laughs> and spill my food face. <laughs> I'll pass it on to, um, oh. Uh, who, I think uh, we, we win everyone. Oh, okay. Or oh, Barbara? Yes. I'm in New York City. I'm a member of the Global Play Brigade in the USA and the co-collaborator with the Holla Daily Project. So Holla Daily is holiday plus daily. And I put in the chat a link to the Holla Daily Project so we can also learn about that while we're celebrating the Food Face Festival. Great. So, and we have more members from Philippines, Toto from yeah. Philippines and uh, Munib from uh, Pakistan yeah. and yeah. Chen from China. But um, um, they couldn't make it to be here uh, for the opening. But uh, we have some videos from them and then quiz from them. And then we will be meeting again on live on Tuesday next week. And then we have two palm play shops next weekend on Saturday by Global Play Brigade India and Sunday by Global Play Brigade Japan. And the following week, we have another live on Tuesday. And we have kind of sadly said that closing, but we're gonna have it, we're gonna make it as a playful as we can. So we have so many things right here. So here's the menu, yes. Okay. How's your appetite? <laughs> 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 so much information already oh my gosh okay yeah, but today it's like the very good bright start of this fantastic two weeks uh you know which we celebrate food and cultures in in especially in asian countries and so today in the opening um event we would like to have these menus for you so for the appetizer we will have some quiz about food and culture in Asian countries. And for the main course, we have a very exciting performance art workshop with kitchen tools. So are you ready to play with some kitchen tools? Are you guys ready with these things? Okay, <laughs> so bring your kitchen tools from your kitchen to play for that part. Okay, and after that, we will uh, explain how to participate in this food face festival in detail. We have some um, posts going on on our uh, group uh, Facebook group page, but we will give you instructions how to make your post and how to, you know, um, join the events. Okay. So now, are you guys ready for the appetizer? <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the quiz. Yay! <laughs> so we have some questions from, first of all, um, Asia. And I would like you to type your answer in the comment box of the Facebook live streaming. So we have some um, people joining in the Zoom and also we have some people um, joining, come and watch the Facebook live stream on Facebook. So we would like you to open your Facebook page and type your answer 
in the comment box. It's gonna be so much fun, okay? And um, we will show you question sentence and also the options for the answer. So you can check the information on the slide and then you can type either A or B for your answer in the comment box, okay? So let's start with the questions from India. So I'm gonna give the floor to Pooja, Manishka, and Medavi. Please read your wonderful um, Hindu um, sentence and also English sentence for the audience. Right. Okay, so that brings us to question one. Hum pehle prashna ke liye tayar hai. लगभग सभी भारतीय घरों में रसोई के किस बर्तन का उपयोग किया जाता है? Which kitchen utensil is used in almost all Indian households? We'll go to the options, Mamik. Option one, tawa. Option B, pakar. Now type your answer in the comment box, please, A or B, okay, A or B. Okay. Mm, we have some comments going on in the Facebook live stream. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I have to watch both Zoom and... <laughs> yes, I'm actually watching my phone and uh, the screen at the same time. Okay. Do you want me to be people the person said watching? Tawa, A. Oh, some people said B, O. Oh. We have some yeah. A, A, hmm. Okay, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is... There we go. Oh, the answer is... Tawa. Tawa. Tawa yeah. is a griddle that is used to make uh, a lot of food in India. Mm -hmm. The main carbohydrate that we have is roti. So rotis are made on ah, tawas. I love yep. roti. I love roti too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a really thin yeah. pan, right? I mean, tawa. Yes. Mm. It's a griddle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we move okay. over to the next one, Mamiko? Sure. There we go. इनमें से कौन सा मसाला भारतीय खाने में भारतीय भोजन में सबसे ज्यादा इस्तेमाल किया जाता है? Which of these spices is used in cooking most Indian meals? Hmm. Option one, हल्दी. Option two, जेफल. And so it's either turmeric or nutmeg. Okay, now you can type your answer in the comment box. <laughs> Someone says curry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, now you can type your answer in the comment box, please. Looks like everybody's saying, yeah. lots of people are saying A. A. Yes, <laughs> lots of A's. <laughs> Okay, Pooja, do you want to count down five seconds? Five, four, four three, two, two one. one. The answer oh. is... Turmeric. Turmeric, of course. So for all of you who got A, which is everyone, you're right. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. What what do you use nutmeg for? Uh, it's a spice that gets added onto a lot of... Uh, when we start making a curry, you use... Some curries require you to use whole spices and nutmeg is one of them. Mm. But it's even not used in, in everything. No, even in but, some sweet dishes also, we use nutmeg. Nutmeg, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, okay. some sweet dishes. So I think we should remember both spices for the Indian food. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one.
प्रसिद्ध भारतीय समोसा की उत्पत्ति कहाँ हुई कहाँ से हुई वेर डिड द फेमस इंडियन समोसा ओरिजिनेट भारत या मध्य पूर्व इंडिया और द मिडल ईस्ट सो नाउ प्लीज टाइप योर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स हम्म ऑप्शन ए okay yeah. some people are saying b as well in the chat box mm -hmm. yeah we have some b mm -hmm. oh, we have some b's we have some yeah. a's oh 50 50 yes <laughs> it looks like it <laughs> oh someone's cheating it seems mm. oh <laughs> <laughs> all right let's count five then Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. The answer hmm. is hmm. Middle East. The answer oh. is the Middle East. So while it's yeah. popular in India and popularized and taken over, uh, inspired from the Middle East mm -hmm. and made our own. Mm. uh it's been in india for so long that it seems strange that it's not indian <laughs> <laughs> well actually some some japanese people think you know curry is for um you know japanese yes. oh, we have um the region <laughs> <laughs> Something we are no, so no. good at taking <laughs> ideas from other countries and make it our own <laughs> yeah own food and yeah. own yeah. culture and own things okay we have a few more questions so let's move on in me se paneer tikka kaun sa hai which of these is paneer tikka Mm, yummy. Option A and option B. These are pictures. You can type your answers in right now. Wow, they are both look beautiful. You know, we're all going to be very hungry after this. I <laughs> am hungry now. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hey, some like A's and some B's. Yeah, we have A and we have like B. It's like 50-50. Yeah, again. <laughs> oh. Should we count down, Mamiko? Sure, okay, <clears throat> count down. Five, four, three, two, One and the answer is ta da! Oh yay! A. Hey. Oh, Marian says A, and it looks delicious. Yes, it's <laughs> really delicious. It could be my breakfast. Oh yes, <laughs> you can enjoy these sticks with your coffee. Okay, so let's <laughs> move on. To the last question from India. Here we go. भोजन के बाद पाचक के रूप में किस पत्ते का उपयोग किया जाता है? Which leaf is used as a digestive post a meal? Option A, पान का पत्ता. Option B, तुलसी का पत्ता. Pan A at option A beetle leaf option B basil leaf. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, there are a lot of herbs used in Indian food. So this is a little bit difficult, isn't it? Hmm. Lots It's of A's. Like yeah, lots of A's. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost everyone is saying A. <laughs> right. 
too easy, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can just go to the um move on to the answer. The answer, yes. All right. The answer is getting no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the answer is A. That totally. So you use this a lot in your um, homemade dishes as well? No, uh, no, we don't use it a lot in the homemade dishes. There are specific vendors across the roads where they add some spices. In fact, they even add nutmeg and they mm -hmm. add some sweet in terms of um, made with roses uh, mm -hmm. and sugar. And they add it and they wrap it up and then you eat it as a digestive. Okay. Also, Sounds like a, it could be also a mini dessert if you're having it sweet. Ah, I see. Well, it sounds very healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Both healthy. of them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. That's true. All right. Thank well, you there... so much. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry to cut you. Okay, so we're going to move on to the question from Japan. So, Hikaru, would you like to read these, um, uh, the first question? Okay, in Japanese. In Japanese, yes. Okay, um, I cannot actually read. The graphic is really kind of vague. Oh, really? Can you see yeah. it now? Um. Not really. Oh, okay. So I, let me I read it. it. I, I will take it with the original PowerPoint. Okay. Or, okay, shall I go uh, for the first one then? While you're getting ready. Looking for it. Okay. Okay. So uh, yes. the first question is, Nihon no bento tekina men ryori de aru udon wa omo ni tsugi no dore de tsukurare masu ka? So what is the main ingredient used to make udon? So the option is A, wheat flour, komugi ko. B, rice flour, home ko. So please type your answer in the comment box. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Everyone is guessing like A, B. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a good question, isn't it? <laughs> hey, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, cool. I think now everybody's guessing like 50 50 so let me tell you the answer is Ta -da! the right answer is a wheat flour we have a lot of different types of noodles in japan but udon is actually made of wheat flour mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and it's actually one of my favorite noodles which one is your favorite noodle hikaru I, I my favorite noodle is soba noodle, buckwheat. Ah, buckwheat noodle, yeah. yeah. Soba is good that's too. Actually healthier. Yeah, that's true. Udon <laughs> udon is actually more golden. higher in calorie. Yeah, yeah. I know. On a diet of but look, yeah, but it tastes good. <laughs> All right. So let us move on to the next question. And Hikaru, would you like to take care of the next one? Sure. Okay. Yeah, shitsumon desu. Which of the following describes sashimi? Okay, so A. Raw fish on top of rice. Gohan no ue ni namadakana ga nottiru mono. B. Only slices of raw fish. Namadakana no Okay, どっちでしょう? so which one? It's not sushi, it's sashimi. Okay? Yeah. Sashimi. Yeah. Sashimi and sushi are different. They are different. 
Oh, cool, cool. Somebody knows the answer already. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we have some A's too. Right. Oh, wow. So this is really tricky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, we have more A's in Facebook Live. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh or, yeah. Or 50 50. Oh. Okay. Wow. We got a really good question, too. <laughs> yeah, this was a good question. <laughs> a very tricky question. Tricky question. All right. So let us introduce the answer. Now. Okay. So the answer is B only slices of raw fish so the the raw fish on top of rice is sushi and sashimi is the only slice of raw fish yes as you can see in the pictures um yeah we don't eat sashimi with rice if we eat it with rice it's called sushi yeah so if yeah. you're just you know not very hungry but you want to have some sort of like a fresh fish then you should go for sashimi. Sake. <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly you yeah, have japanese sake with sashimi perfect yes that's what i'm gonna have tonight <laughs> yeah all right let's move on to the next question okay what is the common type of soy sauce in Japanese cuisine? Options are A, dark soy sauce, koi kuchi shoyu. B, light soy sauce, usu kuchi shoyu. So please type your answer in the comment box. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know this one. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, it's cheating. A or B. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can you can use both, or it depends on the area. Mm. Of the can. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, the answer is from um the. Facebook Live also like 50%, 50 percent, fifty fifty. A B A B A B. Okay, let me tell you the answer. Yes, please. The answer is A, dark soy sauce. So it could just show you. So, and Maybe Hikaru said it actually depends on region. But I did some research, and uh, in the supermarket we have more dark soy sauce, and okay. in more like you know we have dark soy sauce for more in you know more recipes for like nimono boiled dishes or grilled dishes we use dark soy sauce not light soy sauce but it depends on where you're from and your region has unique recipes of food you know in in japan we have a lots of lots of unique recipes originated in like different regions in japan so yeah it depends on where you're from but yeah, I, I think I, I have to tell you that, you know, at my home, like my mom used to use light soy sauce. Oh, okay. So it really depends. And then I'm from Kansai area, the west area of Japan. Mm -hmm. So I think it really depends on the area where you live or where you go. That's so, true. but because Mamiko has did a deep research. So <laughs> Yeah, it should be right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, then. I'm a culture on. based on uh, soy sauce anyways. Yeah. So this is actually something related to the region, regional differences that we have in Japan. So Hikaru, would you like to take care of this question? Okay. Okay, so this is the last question from Japan. So, Chitsumon desu. Which type of missile is primarily used in the Kanto region? 
including Japan, uh, including Tokyo. So, so as I was saying, like you know, west part of Japan is like maybe uh, Osaka and um, Kyoto, uh, Kansai region. Kanto region is Tokyo and you know the east part of Japan. So, uh, options A, red miso, aka miso, and B, white miso, shiro miso. Okay, okay, which do you think? Oh, Marianne, you are confident enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I decided to be confident. Oh, good. I like the color cool. red, I'm guessing. <laughs> but I'm learning a lot, so mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, and we are all like guessing and learning a lot. <laughs> That's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> and I'm getting hungry. I'm getting yeah. hungry. Yes, yeah. Me too. <laughs> All right, Joe. So let us tell you the answer. Okay, the answer is A. <laughs> Red Mesa. Yeah. You got it right. Great. So I think we are running out of time for mm -hmm. the quiz session and we have to move on to the kitchen tool musical so we're gonna pass the ball to mediba manista and puja well, hello hello for joining the quiz yes yes puja yes and unmute yourself hello hello what an exciting food journey. I'm already very hungry. Are you? But how about I tell you that the India team is going to take you for a fun-filled musical journey. A musical journey in a food festival? That's interesting. Yes. So shall all of us bring our kitchen tools and make some music? Is anyone ready? Manishita, is anyone ready? Yes, yes. I can already see somebody sticking up their music kitchen tools. Uh, okay. Uh, it's fun that we always cook with the kitchen tools, but this time we are making music out of it. But before I start, uh, I would like to show the sound, not music, but sound that I have created from my kitchen tool. So let me just shift my camera and show you the sound here. I hope you can see. Can you hear the sound? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, we all can. What a great yeah. sound. That's fine. So I have created this sound for me. So now let me see who are there. Um, okay, let me start with uh, Deepon. Can you create sound from your kitchen tool? Well done, well done. Okay. Well done. Uh, okay, very good, very good. Now let us call somebody. I can, I can see Osh, Otoshi Shen Gupta. Otoshi Shen Gupta. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Very good.
So it's a two music going on together. Two music going on together. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let me see. There's a little girl in a yellow dress sitting there. Binita Maji. Binita Maji. Yeah, start. <laughs> He's bang on. Okay. Uh, the next one, I would say there's a little girl again with the blue, wearing a blue hairband. I can see uh, Priyanka. Wow. Lovely. Okay. Uh, okay. The next one I go to Ashwini. 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 Yeah. Ashwini, lovely. Uh, let me go to now. Let me see who are there. There is Indira Mukherjee. I can see. I would like to uh, uh, ask, uh, let me see who's, Marianne, you are ready, I know that. <laughs> okay, all right, so I'm gonna make a sound. Uh, okay. let's see. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Yeah. I'll come, I'll come back to Vinita. Marianne, it's not audible. I think you'll have to come a bit more closer to the- Sound, sound. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice music. This one, look good. This one, very, very nice. Uh, Vinita Sharkar, next is Vinita Sharkar. Yeah, I am from India, Calcutta from Ishita Sunland's group, Turning Point. So I'm making this sound. Okay, <laughs> thank you. The next that one sounds is- like, That sounds like temple bells. Yeah, that sounds like temple bell, yes. Okay. <laughs> the next one is Debashish Majumdar. Debashi Majumdar. Thank you. Uh, I can see somebody called Mitali, but I can't see whether, I mean, are you there, Mitali? Are you there, Mitali? 
No. Uh, then uh, I will ask Barbara. Let me hear your music. I think we just lost Barbara. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. She went to play with the uh, orchestra. <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> okay, and Mamiko will play one. Okay, I have this uh, square shaped pan and spatula. Yay. Okay, okay, okay. Some Japanese music we will hear now. <laughs> the sound is not coming. She's, she's with my orchestra we play without sound really really okay a special really? orchestra that has no sound that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> a special orchestra if you have a spatula it yes. means you're part of that very special orchestra yes spatula orchestra I can see that. I can you get to see look that. through it too you see <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the sound goes through. The it's sound a, goes through. Way of using your kitchen tools. That's very funny. Okay, <laughs> Jeffy is laughing a lot. I think he has something with his him. What is that? Oh, okay. Again, He's also sound. with the silent orchestra. <laughs> <He's also> with <laughs> with the silent orchestra. <laughs> this is a, I'm wondering what is this silent orchestra means. <laughs> and uh, Barbara is back. Barbara's oh. back. Barbara's back. Hi. Uh, oh, can you play now? Oh, she's on the move, I think. No, it's both. I have. Um, you have. So we okay. had a technical difficulty. Yeah. So I have the fork and I have the chopstick at the same time. Oh, go for it. Silent orchestra. <laughs> yeah, silent <Yeah>. orchestra. <laughs> oh my God, Medhavi, you're, this is a special music going on. on I know, silent. I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think it's got some ultrasonic waves coming from that side, not audible to the Indian, to the Indian or, yeah. or the Asian ear. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Now, who's left now? I think Hikaru is left. Oh. <laughs> I don't Let's, play see. Let's see if she's a part of this okay. orchestra or that. I have, I have, I have like chopsticks and like, and oh, I also have this um, miso. I don't know how to call this, a but in a, even in Japanese or English. But, <laughs> okay, so. Silent orchestra! Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Then. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so this is a different game going on. All the silent people are having something different game you know we'll create some different game okay you make it's very mysterious your... yeah very how is mysterious, it possible yeah. how is it possible really yeah. can you understand Pooja? what we we can make them play uh, something different okay some different place like make faces with your tools okay I think I okay. think that's a great good idea. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. You can all pause. Everyone can pause with their tools and Puja, we can have a picture of our tool. Funny faces with your tools because you are this is you have not created a sound. That's why. Yeah, that is good. That is good. <laughs> Puja, is take a picture of them. Picture? I hope someone's taking the picture. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pooja done. Acha, one more. I think has a one person left out. I think Shuddha Shotto. Can you Sita play done. one? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Very good. Very good. Shuddha Shotto, can you play with the kitchen utensil, mother? 
setting aside. Uh, a sound is not coming. Uh, you need to unmute yourself. Yes. No, it's again got muted. It's, it's got muted again. It's got muted again. Okay, let us yes. everybody unmute yourself. Okay, let us start. Everybody unmute yourself. Sabai unmute for a fellow. And play together all the music you have. Everybody unmute yourself and start playing. Everyone. Yeah, let's Ashwin, unmute. Ashwin, unmute yourself. Well done, everyone. Well done. And well done. Well done. So, like you know, this is an unique. Uh, this is a unique recipe of creating music from your music tool. So this is very fun. Uh, I hope a lot of other people uh, would have joined and it would be a, a much more louder music <laughs> still. <laughs> I think we have enjoyed a lot. And then over to, I think we have finished uh, Medhavi. Yes, we are done. We are over to Mamiko now. We are done with us, uh, Mamiko now. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you so much for a wonderful workshop. Everybody, thank you so much. Yay. Yeah. We, had we had music and we had silent music. We yeah. had different kind of music. Yeah. We had the spatula now band. Formed. Spatula band. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Silent orchestra. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> silent All you need orchestra. Is a spatula to join the orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> right. You are absolutely right. <laughs> okay. So um, let us move on to the next section which I am going to give some instructions um, on how to participate food face festival and we have a very beautiful video created by Barbara so let me play the video first hold on a sec <laughs> sorry let's see Okay, here we go. Choose foods from your country or culture that you want to celebrate in the Food Face Festival. Make a food face, a design made out of your food that looks like a face. also be our already made food which has a face take a picture or record a short video sharing your food face creation and what it means to you reflect on the story of this food in your culture thank you Thank you, Barbara, for creating this beautiful video. Okay, so here is the detail of uh, how to participate in the Food Face Festival. So please join our Global Play Brigade One Asia Pacific Facebook group first. I think this, almost all of you have already signed up, but I would like you, uh, if you haven't, I would like you to visit our page and then register yourself first. Then, um, well, next step is participating in the opening event, which is now you're doing it. So yes, please skip this part. And um, then you are actually um, 
ready to create your own face using ingredients that re represent your culture and countries and just make any face, anything that you want to play with. And you take a photo and video and post it on our Facebook page with a little bit of captions in local languages. Okay. And uh, feel free to post as much content as you want uh, during the events. We are, you know, we would like to have as many posts as possible. And we would like you to share, you know, this is the Facebook, uh, sorry, this is the food face of today. And we would like to learn something new every single day. So please post as much as you want. And the post should include a photo or video and just some texts that explain what the food is made of and what it means to you, okay? You can just check other people's posts on the Facebook page and you can just create your own. And also you can introduce some unique recipes or unique eating habits in your culture as well. So it doesn't have to be food face all the time, but we would like to have something related to food and also eating habits, food culture in your country. Okay, so this is how you participate in this food face festival. Yeah, for example, like I posted um, a video from uh, that I got uh, from my friend. And I also wrote about Osaka and the food in Osaka. So maybe you can check it out the post of today's post in uh, Global Play Brigade One Asia group. So before we go to the closing remark, I would like to give the question from China. So um, Mamiko, can you please uh, share the slide from Chen? Okay, sure. Give me a second. Thank you. So, um, so what is your most favorite food? Share one story about this food. So who makes it? What feelings has it brought to you and who will that um who will that food reminds you of so um please um we are closing today but we are gonna get together next tuesday so maybe we can talk about the food that reminds you of and so and also july the 14th is going to be the next facebook live and it is the Independence Day in the United States. So maybe we can ask Marianne and Jeff and Burb about what kind of food do you eat on that Independence Day? So um, be ready for that. <laughs> next Tuesday, so, July 4th, right? Tuesday. I dogs and hamburgers, just a little <laughs> 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 So the Facebook Live will be starting at um, so 10.30 p.m. Japan time, which is uh, <laughs> 7 p.m. in India, right? And 9.30 p.m. in China and Philippines. And 9.30 a.m. in the United States. Eastern Daylight Time? Maybe? Yeah, uh, just check it out. Check it out in that post of uh, Global Play Brigade One Asia. So about the glo uh, closing remark, um, we should ask our liaison who woke up very, very early in the morning in the United States on behalf of Toto from uh, Philippines. He is now in Malaysia and at his friend's house. And he couldn't make it because um, the Wi-Fi there is really weak because he's on the top of the mountain. So uh, we are saying hello to Toto. And on behalf of Toto, 
Marianne and Jeff, please uh, give us the closing remark. Sure, on be I'll start and then I'll pass it over to Jeff. Uh, on behalf of the, I'm gonna speak on behalf of the entire Western world. We appreciate all of you so much. This was so much fun. We got to see cuisine and uh, cooking from other countries and cultures. So we are enriched. We are hungry for more. And uh, we're closer than we were an hour ago because that's what we do at the Global Play Brigade. We bring people together. We eat together, even if we don't have food. We make music, even if it doesn't have sound. And we create a new world together. Jeff, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm feeling a lot of love for everybody. And um, I'm so glad to be here with everyone and very proud to be with, with all of the creative, wonderful people uh, here on uh, Facebook and on Zoom and uh, on top of mountains with Toto. So <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you very much. And um, applause to the people from India, the orchestra of India. Yay, and thank you very much for the beautiful, now. wonderful play shop. Yay. And thanks to Barbara for the videos and holiday. Yeah. So see you all on Tuesday on live again. Eat okay. your food. Yes, please post the food page, videos, oh, and pictures. We want to okay. see. We want to <laughs> see. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Namaste. Hey. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. And thank you for the Bye. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you for the dance. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. God bless you all.